my friend Johan, this video goes out to you. He wants to know how to uh, balance pistons and wrist pins. So, right here I have a box of stock F23 pistons. They're brand new in box. I just removed the, the wrist pins from them, took them out of the packaging. As you can see, we have all the piston rings still in the boxes. Um, so, what you'll do is you'll have a gram scale. Turn it on. And as you can see, you're zeroed out. Hit this button over here. Make sure it is zeroed out. Grab the piston, move the wrist pin. All right, let's start with this guy. Go ahead and put it on the scale. And as you can see, three, three, five, one. Take it back off the scale. Double check. Three, three, five, one. Okay. So now, got our notebook. I want to write this stuff down. So we'll say piston. And we'll, we'll say that's number one. So we'll call it 335.1 gram. Okay, next up, we'll say this one's number two. Wrist so pin out. Doesn't help when a piston's on the scale. <laughs> okay, put that back in the box. What we got? 337.2. Take it back off. As you can see, it's still zero. Put it back on. 337.1. A little bit different measurement in a second. Try it again. All right, we're going to go with 7.1. All right, come back. Nope. 337.1. So since I started that with number one, number two, we'll do this number three. Put it on the scale, what do we got? Point zero, try that again. Let's do it another time, just make sure. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get a accurate. All right. Well, I've gotten three, three, four point eight about two, three times now. So go ahead and take that off scale. Come over here. Three. Oops. I'll um, clear that up for you. Three, four point eight. Okay. And number four. Just been out. We'll get. Ooh, it's nice and light. Oh no, that's real heavy. Oh shit. Wow. All right, one more time. Okay, there's our measurement. Three, four, four point three. All right, this, uh, this piston's very heavy. Four, four, point three. Okay, so as you can see, the lightest one would be number three. Yeah, number three. So we'll circle that. And when you go and you machine it, that's your goal. You want these pistons to be at that number. So let's do wristbands. And since we already know how we labeled the box, we'll grab number one wristband. Come to the scale. Voila. What we got? 
100. Take it back off. Do it again. 100 grams. Put it back in the box. It's not too often I get a solid number. <laughs> Alright, number two. Grab that. Let's see where we're at. Scale to zero. Say no. Ooh. No. Wow. Okay, those two weigh the same. Now, if we can keep the other ones above or the same, we'll be in a good ballpark. Third one. Okay. Put it on the scale. Like I said, make sure it reads zero. Well, a little heavier. 0.7. Take it back off. Do it again. Alright. This one's a little heavier. That's cool. So, 100.7 gram. Oh, sorry. And last one. One point eight. One more time. Always like double check. Point eight it is. Okay. Now that we have our sizes. You'll know that one and two are perfect. You ain't touching those. Three and four are gonna be machined down to 100. So we're only taking off 0 0.8, 0 0.7. Now to do that, my notebook would stop sliding on my car. All right. So we'll come over here. Come around, yep, right there. As you can see, we have a Dremel. All right, there's my Dremel. These bits are made by tungsten. These are die grinder bits for a Dremel. So you can use whichever one, but you gotta be careful. You don't wanna take too much off. So I'll probably end up using this guy. And what you'll do, it's like in my last video, you'll do this, you'll go on the inside, go around, and then same thing over here. So depending on how many times you go around, you want to keep the measurement the same. You still want this balanced. You don't want to just grind off here and be like, hey, we're at 100 grams. We're okay. No, it doesn't work that way. Because common sense would tell you, hey, that's going to be lopsided. So we're going to take from here. We're also going to take from here. Now with the piston, same thing. We're going to take from here. We're going to take from on the inside. I mean, it shouldn't hurt too much. You can see we got oil holes here. I don't want to do it in here because we have oil holes all around. As you can see, those holes are for the oil. And these are factory pistons. So I'm just saying you shouldn't really have to worry too much about. Most people I see, they just install them. They don't even balance them. But you know what? Even on a stock aspect, why not? So, um... If I had a tripod, I'd show you, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just do the grinding, and then I'll come back and tell you what bits I use and where we're at. But we'll do the wrist pins first. That'd be the easiest, so I'll be right back. I started grinding down the first wrist pin. This is the, uh, this is the attachment I decided to use. It's nice oval. goes inside the wrist pin pretty well. Um, keep in mind that every time you guys do trim it that uh, you want to keep weighing it because you don't want to take off too much as you can see I'm about 0.2 grams almost there another thing is is while you're taking measurements uh, and you think you're almost close make sure you clean the inside because all the metal uh, the aluminum shavings that adds weight so remember that so just me I got lacquer thinner and a piece of paper towel that I'm using you could use the uh, brake clean spray so Keep that in mind and remember when you guys are done you do need to clean these <laughs> you don't want to run metal shavings in your oil 
So as you can see, I got some metal shavings in there. We're almost close. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this and I'll see where we're at. Stuff the paper towel through with some lacquer thinner and you can see all the shavings. All right, well, I got the first wrist pin done. Um, I like to use these uh, brass fittings to polish them up on the inside. So, I mean, if you guys want to use that, you can. Another thing is, if you guys want to use WD-40 as cutting oil, uh, I'd probably recommend it. That way it helps uh, keep the metal shavings pretty much in a gulp than to have them all over the place. I'm also using compressed air to blow everything out, make sure it's all nice and clean before I put it back in the box. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how you do wrist pins. Next up I'll do the other wrist pin off camera and then I'll show you how to do the pistons. So here we go. M1 piston, got it down to 334.5. As you can see, I machined in these areas. Same over here on the outside. And then on this side. Good. Alright. So, I'll put this guy back. And as you can see, 334, 334. We got two more to go. I just gotta get piston number one. Nope, that one's done. Piston number two is next. And then number four, I'm gonna try my best. Number four is way up there. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll try. Um, hoping not, but that's where basically balancing a light rod and a heavy piston or vice versa will come into play but I don't want to take any more off this piston to mess with the integrity of it but, all right so as you can see we're at 342.0 come over here all of them machined at 334.5 um, we started at 344.3 I at least took a took almost two grams off this um, so this is where it comes down to when you pair these with rods you're gonna do your measurements to where they add so say your rods I'll find the lightest rod I'll machine those rods not to the lightest but to like the second lightest because we're still trying to get it all even so if I can get these to where they're even, and then get the rod to pair with piston four, and both these measurements, the rod measurement and the piston measurement add up the same, then in theory, it's balanced. So if that makes sense. I don't have any rods to show you guys, but this is where the video ends. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. The tip I used to do the pistons is this guy. My camera will focus on it. There we go. Yep, so that's one I decided to choose. So yeah.